Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brendan, aka Triple D, and I'm back with another story time. So, this story time's kind of a recent one that happens about a month ago, and let me just tell you this. It is a fucking banger. Uh, not really. I just thought it's pretty funny. So yeah, let's get straight to it. So, this all happened two months ago, as I said. And I was hanging out with my boy. We're going to call him John for this story time. And John has been one of my closest homies for a while. And, uh, yeah, like, fucking six years now? Jesus, long ass time. But, yeah, so John's a good guy and one of my closer friends. And on this particular day, we were hanging out. And my girlfriend was hanging out with her friends. And they were drinking over at their house. And they had this weird dude over there, so my girlfriend was like, hey, can you guys come over? This dude's giving us weird vibes, and we're, like, drunk, we're fucked up, we can't really, like, uh, fend for ourselves, you know? I was like, yeah, bro, we got you. So, we went over, and let me just say this. My boy John and I, at the time, we were sober boys. Like, we don't smoke, we don't drink, we don't do nothing. And that's gonna, that's gonna be very important for, uh what's to come so we go over there and it's all like fun you know but not really fun and uh my boy john's like hey this dude's like giving me the creeps we should like try to kick him out i'm like yeah bro so basically we're babysitting my girl and her friend and this weird dude who's conveniently in their house and uh he's like being weird so my girlfriend's friend was like so fucked up she couldn't even like fucking talk right and she was like throwing up and the dude was like rubbing on her leg and stuff just being like extra weird but that's not too important for the story time because he ended up like leaving before we did so that's good and uh so fast forward my girlfriend's friend we're going to call her uh beth i guess yeah so beth she had this very expensive wax pen and this wax pen cost her like 60 bucks or so and it was a big deal like she was flexing it this entire week and yeah and so uh it got to the point where me and my boy were all like all right uh this fool's gone we don't really want to be here anymore so we decided that it was time for us to dip and so we said goodbye and like said goodnight to them and then we headed out creep was gone so we were chilling and next morning i get a call from my girlfriend and just like normal stuff like good morning and all that I'm like yeah we're chilling and then i get a text from my girlfriend's friend beth and she's like hey have you seen my wax pen i'm like no i haven't really seen it but uh, let me know if you find it she's like yeah i got you and then fast forward a little bit i'm at work and she texts me she goes hey uh, I think your friend took it. I'm like, uh, no, he didn't. My boy's sober. Trust me on this. And she's like, all right. And then fast forward a little bit more and she texts me. I'm like, bro, why is she keep on texting me? She texts me. She's like, hey, your girlfriend needs you to call her. It's really important. It's an emergency. I'm like, okay, what could it be? So I call my girlfriend thinking that like something bad happened. And I'm like, hey, what's up? And her friend picks up. She's like, I know your friend took my wax pen. I'm like, bro, what? What are you on? You're calling me at work about this? It's not like that fucking important. She's just going off. She's like, no, I know she took it. I know he fucking took it. I know him. He's a thief. I'm like, bro, how? Where's your evidence? And she's like, oh, my friend reads crystals. And he read them and told me that he took the wax pen. I'm like, bro, ain't no fucking way. You're believing some crystals over... Your best friend's boyfriend. Like, come on now. My boy's trustworthy. So, she's like freaking out about it, texting me. And then she's like, oh, text me his address. I'm going to go confront him. I'm like, no, you're going to leave him alone. And then, yeah. So, we're going to fast forward a little bit. This was like two weeks later. Her, uh, my girlfriend's friend calls me. She's like, hey. I'm like, uh, what do you want? She's like, I found my pen. I'm like, oh, uh, where was it? She's like, oh, it was in my jacket. It was in your jacket? 
Yeah, it was in my jacket from the night when I got really drunk and I put my jacket in the room. I was all like, bro, you couldn't check your jacket beforehand? I, oh, I was a little bit upset about this. I was like, all right, and why are you calling me? She's like, oh, I'm just saying sorry. I was like, well, you shouldn't be saying sorry to me. You should be saying sorry to my boy, man. Like, my boy, John ain't do nothing wrong. Go apologize to him. But, uh, yeah, so she didn't ever really apologize to him until, like, actually, I don't even think she did. But that's besides the point. We're all past that. We chilling, you know? And, uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the story time, leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe. And here's the lesson. There's a lesson to be learned from the story time. Uh, don't do drugs at all. Like, don't, just don't. It's bad for you. Uh, I know weed's not too bad for you. Just, like, don't do it until you're 18, at least. And don't accuse people of fucking stealing your shit when you have no proof. Like, come on, crystals, bro? Crystals? Come on, man. But, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. It was a good one for me, I guess. But, uh, yeah, comment, like, leave all that good shit down below. Share it to your boys, your female friends, or whatever, what, <laughs> whatever other friends you got. Maybe your family, too. Uh, yeah, just hope you guys all enjoyed it. Anyways, peace out, guys.